Here we are, Root Cycle. Have a rubbish day. Hello, I'm Root, and I'm the proud owner of Root Cycle, and we're a waste management company. It all started as a bit of a joke uh, with another waste company, a guy called Jake from JCA. We were calling ourselves the influencers, the influencers on uh, Instagram. And I thought, well, I don't really think enough people know what we go up to in our day to day. A lot of people think that maybe we have it easy as uh, small business owners. There's a lot that we do, uh, a lot of struggles, a lot of highs, a lot of lows. Uh, we have some good laughs, some great laughs. Um, and just you never know whatever happens in your day to day. It all makes it fun, really. But we want to keep pushing out these videos. If there's any content that people want to see, then just uh, put it in the comments, put emails to us. All right, so day three as a waste influencer. I think I'm going to do some uh, informative videos today. Turns out I get a phone call from the boys. They got the vehicle stuck in the wet grass. But anyway, luckily, because of the thermal heat, I've got a tow rope. Let's go see if we can help them out in a little custom. Right, let's see how Seb's getting on. Seb, go as far back as you can to that wall, get a run up, go that way. At least get the front end point out, so if you get stuck, I can just pull you out. Driving for idiots. Brilliant. Right, hello everyone. I can't be doing with uh, tidying up my desk, so we're on a jerky ride to Woking with Seb. Go pick up some rubbish. Sure. I got a new selfie stick for my influencing. So this is how we do a job. We take photos of the job. All gloves on. We get clear. Here's one of our 14 cubic yard vans that we use. These are ideal for light, bulky waste. For light, bulky waste, often works out. And then getting a skip. What have we got here? A mixed general waste. We'll get easy recycled. Right, all done, happy with that. So, now all Seb does is pop the information on the app. So we just take an after photo, enter the details about the waste, that's what the volume is, what a estimated average weight is. Sign it off and where we're gonna tip it. And then the customer will get that uh, on a waste note, emailed directly to um, their email. Lovely. Seb, how do you find being in the van with a, uh, a waste influencer? It's very good. I can only hope it promotes just more work and more business. Ooh, very good. I think any minute now, Sib's going to throw this selfie stick out the window. I think he's got enough of uh, all this video in. He's driving. Right, so I've got back to HQ. A little bit quiet today. So we're um, taking the opportunity. It's only me and Seb here. Having the opportunity to get things sorted out. Holly went to the incinerator yesterday for all our chemical waste. So, a van's nice and empty. We've got a new electrostatic sprayer, I'll show you what that all is. And then uh, spray up her van, got a little bit of scrap to sort out. Got the inside of our unit as well to sort out where our uh, shredder is. We've used it as a bit of a, as a, bit of a tip. Um, yeah, guys, if you've not got any battery in your grinder and you haven't got your safety goggles, easiest way to do it is to buy it. Anyway, all done. That'll get scrapped for light iron. There's our copper and brass, which is a non-ferrous. And then what we'll do at a later stage, we'll just cut the uh, the copper off. So it's just disconnected with the brass and we sell each bit separate and make a bit more money. We've got ferrous metal, which is normally our light iron. These plugs, we always cut the plugs off. These go as ferrous. Plugs off as well. So you got a low grade wire, then household cable, we sell this as. But normally you meant to wear some safety goggles, but it's only two little bits. And we cut the copper on these, <laughs> on the boiler. Right, tip one, make sure you've got enough battery. Morning everybody. Right, bit of a pain. Got up today, our system's down, that we put all our jobs on. All the jobs go on there. All the jobs in the morning, everyone sees them on an app. But that's down. Now we've got to find out all the jobs I can remember that are already on emails, on other systems, handwrite them, 
put them on WhatsApp to the group and get them out. <sighs> Such a pain. Uh, what else have we got for today? Simon was good. No, yesterday I got a nice um, video message from him. He sorted out the uh, unit, which was a bit of a, which was a bit of a mess. It came in off its own time, tidied it up. We've got loads of bits that we need to either get off to uh, recyclers, or we have stuff that we sell on, or we donate on. So we've got some skips being moved around. I'll show you these skips. Got a nice little Heidi's back on the band tomorrow on the clinical way. So I've got to sort out that man for her. Make sure it's all tip top. Plus, I'm gonna spray out this electro electrostatic spray that we've got. Disinfect and decontaminate. Decontaminate the area. Oh yes, and Hannah, who used to work for us, she's now got her own business. She does a, a, a virtual PA. You know, as you saw my little help for my messy desk and the need for a bit of organisation. So Hannah's coming over. I think about ten o'clock today. That look like I could see her. I haven't seen her for a while. Get things sorted out. But till then. I saw out there so what an absolute nightmare. Right, so I'm in the back of Heidi's van. This van's been to the incinerators uh, last week for all our clinical waste. We take from clinics, uh, other healthcare practitioners, shropodists, schools that are now doing this PPE testing, and the sanitary bins, also sharps bins. So although we try to keep it clean, it all gets a bit mucky. So what I've got is, I've got the Victory electrostatic sprayer. So I'm going to test it out today and then what this will do is it will spray a solution and it's electronically charged so it will envelope around a surface, uh, around an object. It's a positive to a negative charge. So this says it's 99% effective. So it will help disinfect against COVID, SARS and I've made a solution that, I've, that, we've, uh, that we've bought for this. So see how it goes. I uh, guess you just pull the trigger it sprays out. Right, let's give it a go. I have to say, I'm pretty happy. It covers a large area, hasn't really used much solution. There is another one you can buy that's got a backpack. So obviously probably more suited out for warehouses. I can't believe how boring my product reviews are when everyone else on YouTube gets to have a go in fast cars, nice Range Rovers, and I've got these. I hope you enjoyed one of the most boring reviews there are on YouTube. It's not a fast car, it wasn't a jet ski, it wasn't a big piece of plant that everyone likes to watch. It was just that, that Victory electrostatic sprayer. I'm pretty happy with it, covered a large area. I'm gonna do all the cabs in all the vans, do our office. So, didn't take any time at all, effortless. Yeah, I recommend it. Uh, I'll probably go around to a few customers actually and see if they want uh, area spraying. I know just the chap actually. Uh, Darren from Hurricane, I'm coming to you. We're gonna do your uh, inside of the boxing gym. Inside the van, let's give it a spray. Just say, the positive and the negative, it'll fully coat around an area, around the item, on the surface. It's fishy for clinical waste, going into these areas, in and out of places, bathrooms, etc. Also, another thing to point out, the nozzle can be changed. So you can have one for a closer area, one if you want it to spray quite far and wide. Uh, I'm not really too sure what the other one is, to be honest with you. A1 Metals, there we are. And it's dropping off the first row row of the day. But commonly dropping off the second. This is the job we're doing our waste management. Before they're doing a big strip out. This is how far away it is from Root Cycle HQ. It's so easy just to keep a monitoring on everything. Perfect. Right, so the second roll on roll off being done now. Like the exchanging of the girls at Buckingham Palace. Good morning. Right, uh, today my number one priority is to do my accounts. I need to get all my receipts over, a uh, load of invoices over to Michelle, who does our accounts, as well as Louise as well, who owns Perfect Balance. She's been doing our bookkeeping for the past few years now. So massive, massive help. I can't do hardly anything without these two. I got one of the vans going for MOT. Later on today, the boys are out on the vans, um, King Conway's vans out, and um, we've got a load of wheelie bins to be picked up. So I need to send over to Michelle all their weights and their figures. And you know what it's like here with Rube Cycle, wherever else pops up on the day. And get a whole load of the wheelie bin figures for the weights and that. That goes over to Michelle, and Michelle invoices the customers. Got all that. As I said, my number one priority is to get this account, so I don't want to speak to anyone today until that's all done. This is the biggest part of running a small business, I think, is making sure that your accounts are up to date, all the invoicing is done, 
if your invoice and is out for a week, you soon find people email it, or the honest ones email you said that they haven't received their email, their invoice, which is really good. Of them. But it's just money you lose, easy money to lose, and money's easy to get out. All right, when people ask what happens to all our stuff that they bring in, we've got a load of computers, what that goes to, where is it? Africa? Africa? Lagos. To Lagos. There we are, bicycles as well, also go abroad. Uh, Dyson's, they get fixed up. A lot of stuff either goes to car boot, a lot of clothing goes to charity. All these computers will get fixed up. All the um, all the hard drives get removed, so there'll be no information that goes elsewhere. A lot of screens get fixed. We've even got a few old Apple, Apple Macs. Right, so I've just had a call from one of the borough councils that we we take away the yellow bags for the for the lateral flow testing that they do. It's all part of a trial. Anyway, we've called up all these bags that we've given them. Must be a production. Uh, problem and there's no uh, there's no bottom to the bottom of the bag so I've got all these other boxes that I've got to check see if they're all malfunctioned. Let's have a look. They all can really do is just give them another box. That's a bit of a nightmare. So take these back, give them a box. Hopefully the, these other ones are okay. Just another problem, another pain, another waste of time. This is the time of the day when the problems happen. Holes in bags that I've told you about. Heidi's stuck on the M25, so she's free jobs she can't do. We're gonna have to get those moved out to Thursday. Booking on these other jobs, we've got bin stores and dead rats in there. That'll be handy for tomorrow. Still haven't achieved all the invoice and stuff for tomorrow. Here is the issue with her running vans. One, we've got one band that's gone to have its MOT. Fingers crossed it's going to pass there. Then we've got jobs booked on for tomorrow and everyone's asking what time, what time. I don't know because I don't know if we're going to have this van back. Hopefully get her back in the morning. In 25 shut, there's been some big incidents, so Heidi stopped on in 25, so that's Three jobs we can't go pick up today, so I've got to call up, see if we can get them re-put in for Thursday. Like if it's sanitary bin, so that should be all right. But the issue with these yellow bags with no bottoms in, so still need to find the bottom of that. I still haven't finished this invoice in, what a nightmare. But this is day to day of running a small business that people don't normally see. Which is uh, another reason why we're trying to make these videos, so you can see all round really what we what we get up to in the day to day, all the problems that happen. It's not easy. Obviously, we've got a big business, we just on a bigger scale, but we get through it. Tomorrow's another day. Morning. Right, I'm at APJ's this morning in Church Crookham. The van needs to get re MOT'd. It failed yesterday over I think it was a brake cable or a brake hose, so that's all been sorted out. Hopefully, we'll be back on the road. I'm not sure what my number one priority is today. I need to wait and go back into the office. We've got a few things going on. There's an Arctic coming for a whole load of uh, plastic crates that's over in Woking. Other than that, I've done a whole load of the invoicing and accounts yesterday, so tip top with that. Hannah's coming back today to help me with my organisation. Oh, there's a there's a lovely bin store cleaning job. I haven't yet told the boys that there's about four dead rats there, so we'll wait for them to complain. <laughs> right, that's about to say, take boys are out. Everyone's done. Got a cup of tea. Uh, I didn't need to call up this one company where all these plastic crates are getting picked up with the Arctic, so the guys can't even know what time that's all getting picked up. And then this is how a company can plan their day around that. Anyway, great thing about sharing an office with Sam and is Sam and Dan, the, the directors, you never know what the hell Sam is doing next, so but apparently I'm in for a big surprise later on into a new office feature. Those boys are absolutely bonkers. Right, so, with bins, what you want to do is, a lot of the bin suppliers are going to give you a contract. Now, the little wheelie bins we pick up ourselves, a lot of the bigger bins we pick up with other waste companies. So, what you want to look out for is how long your contract's for. We often do a rolling contract. A lot of our customers prefer this. Also, what you have is, some bin companies might be cheaper. We want to make sure is, what is your lift rate? On top of a lift rate, you'll also have a waste allowance. Our waste allowance in our local area 
on a general recycling bin is up to 70 kilos and on a uh, they'll often call it a DMR uh, a dry mix recycling rate that'll be 50 kilos and then on top of that you pay a per kilo rate on top so thinking about putting tiles in your DIY thing again it'll just end up working out really expensive for you. You can get different bins, obviously, for glass and for food waste. And a lot of the bins are taken off and they're recycled locally, the local waste transfer uh, stations. Also, what else you need to look for is if the bin contract is cheaper, a lot of the big nationals might do you a cheaper bin on a per lift rate and then have additional costings like a bin rental. Some of these guys are up to about 510p. A uh, day, so it all mounts up, and a waste consignment note uh, fee as well. And this can also be about 5p a day. What I prefer, and what we prefer here at Root Cycle to give out, is an all in rate. We will give you the rate for per bin lift up to a certain amount of kilos, and then a per kilo price thereafter. So it's really nice and simple. As I say, the majority of it is for a rolling. Here at Root Cycle, we don't discriminate, but Simon's six foot eight. So every time we try to get into a van, Everything's no, been is, pushed down, this pushed is back. You the, this, this is your seat normally, right? So this is me having to get into your van. Right, before Simon came, we had a rule. No one could be over five foot six. Look, my touch, touch is there. <laughs> then Simon turned up. Look at all that leg room there, look. Right, let's go over to Simon's van. Yesterday, when I went to go move the van to take it to the MOT, Try it again, look at the thing, it's all the way down here. This was me going to the MOT yesterday. <laughs> Man, that's, that's not actually that bad. But on the plus side, if you ever get pulled, you can see over the steel up. My favorite part of the week, tea and wee with Mickey at our collar. This is how these bins work. We'll pop them onto the dust cart. Right, so it's on this part now. Where the, where the scales are, and this is what will then feed onto the system that Mickey's got in the dust cart, and it will give us our total weight. All this waste is recycled locally. Here's our new filing cabinet, and we've just realised a massive error. Have her up. Is that really appropriate in the workplace? I'll make your hair look good for the camera. Then we'll record this bit and stick it in. Right, Hannah's back in the office now. <laughs> I, uh, right, so first week of filming done. I'm going to send this over to a young chap called Jacob. He's going to edit it. No, it might be a little bit mismatch. Is our, I'm going to say only our first week that we've done it. So we're going to carry on filming for next week. Um, let us know what products you want to see, any jobs you want to see, any ideas. Always open to feedback. If you do want any rubbish cleared, clinical waste, Paper shredding, go to our website www.rootcycle.com or give us a call. If you see our big vans around, give us a wave. Uh, see you next week. Cheers. I forgot. So any of the bloopers that we've had in the week or any images, all on our Instagram page. Go to at rootcycle. Also on our Facebook page. Just look up under rootcycle. Thanks. Right. So first week, obviously, as a bin fluence, so I haven't even spoken about bins. So, um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about our most popular bins that we put out. These are the 1100 uh, litre... 1100... Right, the thermo heat surprises here, I take it. Are we getting fish now? Perhaps. Never surprised with another day with these guys. Does anyone else want... Anyone else want to rent them in office? You said it was going to fit. I thought it was bigger than that. Oh, well, this is handy, isn't it? <laughs> How many watts of electrics that? None. Well, right, not right now. <laughs> Why have we got Tic Tacs at the bottom of this? Where's the fish? Right, so if anyone knows Sam, Sam will end up with a shark. So this is what happens when you rent thermo heat an office. It starts as a little space, <laughs> and then you get fish. We've got racking downstairs now. We're out of milk. So we have got better tea bags? Well, well no, they're PG. Okay. Much better. Sam's got a massive box of chocolates that he hasn't eaten. Sam's desk is always a mess.